Hello, so we are back in this time. We have a proper hard job here. So this is a MacBook, which uh, is not like, you know, dead or uh, working fine, you can see. So basically it's loading, then we have like a purple screen, then it's uh, rebooting. But before we are starting, let's speak about today's video sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay, it's your one-stop solution. Based on the fact that all kind of PCBs 3D printing, CNC, she metal are available from them. Every new register, they are getting $5 welcome bonus, which is about 10 PCBs. So you will get 10 PCBs for free. All you have to do is to pay for the postage. Now I did check myself the PCB quality. We can clearly see here we are speaking about uh, a top-notch uh, PCB manufacturer. Now, don't forget, you can uh, check the link on the description and uh, you can place your first order. Now, let's go back to our uh, repair. So, what happened with this laptop and why this is a hard job? Because this job is coming from a computer shop. Now, let's see the customer email. Now, the customer email is on my language. It's a lady which is working on the customer service on that computer shop. Uh, and she's saying, okay, this is the Mac we spoke before, water damage, we try to fix it, it works for one week, and uh, it then died. It, it was a water damage job, yeah? So they fix it, the laptop wore like one week, and then, you know, it end up with this kind of fault. Now, this is bad. I mean, the board was clean, so it is, there is no way we can really see where was the liquid damage then um, they fix it and i have no no data about what they fix and what they replaced but yeah we have somehow to fix it yeah at some point it will turn back to recovery now i don't believe this is a software issue because this folk uh, came after a liquid damage water damage so uh, i believe this is a hardware fault now, liquid damage jobs, you know, it's more of a luck thing, you know, trying and actually spotting uh, where is the where is the fault. Because otherwise, trying with schematic is nothing what you can try with schematic on a fault like this. When actually everything is fine, if I check the power supply, it's all are good, all voltages are fine. But on the booting stage, on some point, is rebooting. So the schematics, it will do exactly zero on a case like this. Let's open the laptop and try to have a look inside. It's more like a detective work, uh, trying to spot where could be the problem. Okay, so the laptop is open. Oh, this is a new one. I don't think I fixed this, uh, this laptop before, this model. No, it's the first time I'm seeing this model. We can have a look. We have access to the touchpad board. But the touch bar board is looking fine. Okay, let's try to open things from uh, from the motherboard and see what do we have here. Okay, so the board is out. Uh, the Apple didn't disappoint. It was a pain to take this board out. And if even after so many screws, I still don't have access to the motherboard. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so this board is looking fine. I can't see liquid damage here. On the connectors, yeah, they are looking fine. Only, uh, yeah, here you have some liquid damage. Check here, yeah, check this connector. You can see the green stuff. No, probably you can't. Yeah, now you can see it. Yeah, now you can see it. Check there, yeah, so that's liquid damage. And that can give us a fall like this. And if it's liquid damage here, probably it's even here. Yeah, it is. So check that. Huh? 
liquid damage here is fine but definitely here is liquid damage this connector is fine 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 now you know what i'm really curious if this connector can trigger a fall like this yeah so what i will do i will stop moving forward i'm gonna clean here and test because it's more important to know if uh, liquid damage on this connector can trigger a fall like this you know just for uh, our knowledge and more than that you check there yet yeah? so that pin is nearly gone yeah that pin nearly gone i think it's nearly gone this one i can see rust here so if this pin is broken is detached from the the pin I mean, it's kind of moving by itself. Check here. So if this is detached, then can uh, can trigger a fall like that. I think. I mean, this board has a bunch of sensors. And you know, Apple, it's, you know, mad crazy when it's about sensors and yeah. Let's check, let's check, let's check to be sure. Do you think we can, uh, we are able to deliver a dodgy repair? <laughs> so from here, it's good. It's good, this one, good. yeah no it's good the pin is good so it's still attached to the pin okay that's fine here yeah again it's looking bad but let's clean it looks clean right yeah let me dry Um, inside check here yeah we have to be sure it's proper clean Uh, yeah, it's looking fine. You know what? It's looking fine. Now let's check. Let me put the board back without, you know, any screws and any things. And let's see if it's working. Just to know when uh, we reach the uh, we reach the component which is creating this kind of fault, weird fault. Okay, everything is connected. Plug in the battery. Battery is plugged. Pressing the power button and it is coming on. Let's see. Okay, we had that before. Let's restart. We do have startup sound. Come on. And it's working. Can't believe. 
That's crazy. Okay, probably they reset to factory settings this man, or they restore the, the firmware, possible. Wow. OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press... Uh, the idea of the video is from where this particular fault is coming, and looks like it's related to that connector. We have, well, I have no idea what is that connector. I'm assuming this is a screen connector, but this can be some, you know, like angle sensor, like, you know, the other, uh, the other stuff. So yeah, if you see in the MacBook rebooting with purple screen, you can have an issue with the connector or with whatever is connected to this connector. And this is important because, you know, data recovery jobs are, are expensive. And the only way for the customer to recover the data it's actually, you know, repairing the board. Now, I'm not going to keep you here. Uh, I'll put it all back together. I think it's no point uh, going forward. Clearly, that was the problem. I will say, uh, you know, thank you for watching. Hopefully, this is, it will be helpful for you in the future. And see you on the next one. Bye.